We've got some difficult days ahead, but it really doesn't matter with me now because I've been to the mountaintop. And I've seen the promised land. I may not get there with you, but I want you to know tonight that we as the people will get to the promised land. So I'm happy tonight. I'm not worried about anything. I'm not fearing any man. America is shocked and saddened by the brutal slaying tonight of Dr. Martin Luther King. Dear Dr. King, I have often wondered what the good doctor would prescribe for our time, if you'd be dismayed by what we're still fighting for. In our society, uh, it reminds me of what Dr. Martin Luther King has said, that there is two split different Americas. In one America, you get to you get killed by sleeping in your car, selling cigarettes, or playing in your backyard. And in another America, you get to storm the Capitol, and no tear gas, no massive arrests, no, none of that. So I think it's obvious, it's 2021, I don't think anything has changed. In my household during that time, and it's on the, on the TV, couldn't help but to wonder um, if those were, uh, my kind, uh, storming the Capitol, what would have been the outcome? It's just like a slap in the face and almost a fuck you to every black person in America. You fought for voting rights, and in many ways, that fight still persists. Vote, 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 vote. vote. Housing equality, food insecurity, a fair shake in the justice system, all things exacerbated by a global pandemic are still pain points decades later. Of the Kenosha District Attorney announced he will not charge any of the police officers involved in the shooting of Jacob Blake this summer. To see that verdict, it was just, um, it was a blow to the gut and a blow to the heart. We're still marching, still doing sit-ins, still finding ways to be non-violent in our protests, even though the answer to our protests is often still violent. But that doesn't mean your work was all for naught. In fact, you were right. The arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends towards justice, and we're making progress. We had a black president, and now have a black female vice president. But while I may be the first woman in this office, I will not be the last. And even a Canadian black female major party leader, thanks in part to you. We're being drafted to play hockey. The Los Angeles Kings are proud to select with the second pick, Quinton Byfield. Leading teams to winning the World Series and the Super Bowl, winning tennis majors, and using that platform to shed light on major issues. We have athletes, many of which around the same age as you when you died, using their platform to carry on your legacy. I'm thrilled at the fact that players in this league are comfortable speaking out on issues that are important to them. Your hometown Hawks have honored you with their uniform, but I'm writing you from Canada to let you know my hometown team, the Raptors, have honored you with their culture. Most of us, I hope, you know, know the importance of what Dr. King meant, what his family meant to uh, the culture and, and to this country. They've got women of influence, the roster represents the globe. The Cameroon native who was the latest to shine on the NBA's biggest stage. And they realize the size of their platform. The biggest difference from your time to now is now everybody has a platform. Despite the overwhelming plea for change, there has been no action. So our focus today cannot be on basketball. So now we're not boycotting buses, we're painting them and boycotting games. We made a powerful move, decided not to play, decided to uh, bring awareness. The content of our character is shining through, even though we still at times are judged by the color of our skin. So on this day that we celebrate you and what you stood for. His message and his sacrifice laid the foundation for us all to be able to share a locker room, our coaching staff to be able to work together as a unit, um, and for us to be able to share this arena together. The way it is today, it's just an honor to be able to put on a jersey and play basketball in, in honor of him. Rest easy, Martin, because you've inspired a franchise, a league, a nation, a world that won't rest until your dream is realized. You famously said our lives begin to end when we become silent on things that matter. You'd be happy to know people of all colors and creeds are no longer being silent. 
it's really, really a time for us to address racism now, not only in America, but all over the world. I have a dream. My poor little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream. We thank you, Dr. King, on this day and always.